Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Wake Up Well. We're following our series in the Beatitudes. Uh, we were looking last weekend at Blessed Are the Merciful. We're heading in the coming Sunday and um, Blessed Are Those Who Hunger and Thirst for Righteousness. And this particular scripture this morning camps right at the heart of both those statements of Jesus. The final judgment, reading from Matthew's gospel, Matthew 25, verse 37. Then these righteous ones will reply, Lord, when did we ever see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink, or a stranger and show you hospitality, or naked and give you clothing? When did we ever see you sick or in prison or visit you? And the king will tell them, I assure you, when you did it to one of the least of these, my brothers and sisters, you were doing it to me. Righteousness, right relationships with God and with others is right at the heart of Jesus's teaching on the radical life, on the Beatitudes. And I love the fact that he draws it together here in essence of what it means to be family. Right at the outset of his ministry, Jesus called disciples to walk alongside him. And then he was on the move. He was on the move to reach more. And suddenly this incredible group of ordinary, broken people found themselves on a journey of following Jesus. And they were at opposite ends of the spectrum. They were brothers that probably often had it out with one another. They were uh, the tax collector and the zealot at opposite ends of the political regime, one who'd sold out to the regime and one who was looking to plot to bring down the regime. And they were in the same family, brothers and sisters, as Jesus draws out here in Christ. Righteousness, right relationships are worked out in the context of community, of family. We have been considering what does it mean to show mercy and as we looked at on Sunday good deeds are one thing and they have a place they save lives but mercy connection with people so love and service but also that that heart-to-heart -heart connection is a completely different thing and our heavenly father is always in the business of relationship the trinity is relationship we are drawn into relationships and there's something about community true community that it is in that place, in that crucible of community that you and I are formed. It's where true spiritual formation takes place, where we find people different to us, the stranger that we show hospitality to, the person in community who thinks differently, whose political ideas are polarized from me. Those that are in need or vulnerable are necessarily people like me, only Christian community, I believe, gives us the real opportunity in life. It's an extraordinary context of, I guess, what family, spiritual family really is, family according to Jesus. And it's in that place that I guess our character is exposed. I often think about the fact that if Peter had just stayed at home with his family, he would never have had those tensions, those experiences, that opportunity, not only to get out of the boat and take risks, but to experience anger and frustration and denial and exposure, but ultimately to become the man that he did. And the kind of person that the Lord could powerfully work through and who represented Jesus on earth. I want to bless you this morning uh, in this season as we transition out of this lockdown time with that sense of intentionality for community, intentionality with righteousness, right relationships that allows us to love really well, to connect with others, but also to be shaped in the process, to see our blind spots, to see how we might grow in our understanding of those around us and life around us and represent well Jesus, knowing that as we love others around us, just as this passage highlights for us, we are bringing the hands and feet of Jesus. Whenever you did it to the least of these, you did it unto me.
And ultimately, as we live life like this, we have the privilege of the opportunity to become more like him and in the process to encounter Jesus through other people. I want to bless your day, whatever, wherever you find yourself, uh, at home with others, in your workplace context, reaching out to others that you might have an opportunity to connect with people different to you or people in need or people who would experience the love of Christ through you. Right now, that Holy Spirit would even draw those people to mind. You might be able to connect with somebody online or by telephone or show love to people in an everyday context. And also that you would be blessed. There's something about walking vulnerably. Others would be able to love you and you would be able to receive it. And through this process, connect with Jesus who is right at the heart of relationship.